the typical way that a bracelet or a necklace could be finished with Viking knit. This is a tube um, closure. It's magnetic. So you can see that it's silver and gold and I used that on this gold colored Viking knit. Um, and it, the ends are just glued together and then they snap together like that when you're putting the bracelet on. Just, uh, this I always have trouble doing on camera. There we go. Just snaps in there like that. And you can wear the closure up above or you can wear the closure down below, depending on how you want to do that. Um, this is a uh, Viking knit bracelet I made uh, while camping with some kids. And I ha only had um, these cone beads. Uh, or end caps. So what we did was we slid them on here. They could be glued on with uh, E6000 glue. They're a little wider than we need, but that's what we had. We made a, a loop of wire at the end and a hook on the other side. And then this is, let me do this the right way. Usually I can do this there. So there is a hook and closure, a hook and loop closure, just a very rough and ready made one while camping. You can also uh, use um, manufactured hooks and loops. Um, the way that you uh, would add a hook and an eye if you uh, weren't gluing something on or putting uh, a cap on is you would uh, put a heavier piece of wire through here um, and then attach the closure i'm going to show you that in uh, the next video but here are some other things i'm still uh, working on getting my twisting uh, my twisted cones perfected but you put a piece of wire through um, the end of the Viking knit. So through here, a heavier wire. Um, and you can put a loop on here. You can, uh, you can fold it, put it back through a little bead and then wrap a cone. Here's just a, 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 an S hook and it makes a bracelet like that. Um, or you can put uh, a bead cap on the end with a wire through and do a wrapped loop and then add uh, a closure to that. You can also do something like this. This is something I was experimenting with. I've got a, I've used two pieces and I've joined them with this uh, knot. And then I've made um, a wrapped loop that I'm going to glue on one end. And then a wrapped hook that I'm going to glue over these two pieces on the other end for a bracelet. So I'll come back with another video in terms of how to attach um, this particular one with the glue and probably one other type of clasp. And then there, I'm sure there are lots of videos or uh, tutorials online that I can point you to for adding your own clasps. Um, there's so many things that you can do with Viking knit once you've uh, made the knit itself. Here's a bracelet with some large hole beads added. Uh, you could do a necklace. Here's a nice glass pendant I've re repurposed. Uh, here's a bracelet. This is a slide-on bracelet with a hematite bead and a couple of end caps. This is a, a larger one. Uh, I've just put this pendant on here. It's not a great pendant. It's got a flaw down in there, but uh, 
Again, you could make a lovely necklace with the pendant on it. Uh, here's another uh, glass pendant. Make your own little uh, closure. So, oh, oh, and you can also just take a tube bead and you glue the uh, ends of the Viking knit into the tube bead and make yourself a bracelet that then you would just uh, roll on over your wrist. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing how to make Viking knit. It's something I am very passionate about, and I love teaching people uh, how to make it. Bye, and see you soon. Okay, now that this piece of Viking knit is finished, I'm going to attach a clasp, and here I have a uh, magnetic clasp. It's silver and gold tone. You can see it's quite strong. Um, I use these for Kumi Hemo as well. There's a, a close-up of it. You can there's the the magnets and you can see each end is just a little tube. So I'm going to fill the tube with some good old E6000. Okay. Oh, that enough? Seems to be a... Uh... Nice thing about E6000 is that it does fill in the gaps. So it's going to get in there in with the wire, um, just like that. And I'll be able to clean off any excess. Uh, afterwards, I'm gonna get that off. Let's do the other side. Same thing. Tube in, squeeze. Good amount. Side's a little shorter. I'm it's not wanting to cooperate as well. There we go. Okay. So one of the nice things about, um, whoops, let's make sure that stays on there, on the paper to dry. So the one thing, the nice thing about Viking knit is there are lots of um, fantastic clasps out there. I'm gonna just let it dry, um, and uh, we'll show you it in action when it's done. That's. Uh, Okay.